A few days ago, I had the misfortune of joining a secret cult of 100x programmers and software engineers. Also known as the programming subreddit, and surprisingly I learned a few things there, I used to think failing as a software engineer meant writing bad code or accidentally taking down prod with one wrong conditional statement, and I couldn't be more wrong. It turns out the fastest way to fail isn't about syntax, or how fast you can wear out your gaming keyboard, it's about ignoring the things that actually keep your career alive. The first and easiest way to fail is refusing to learn. We all know that tech is brutal because it never stands still. Today it's Next and Kubernetes, tomorrow it's Astro and Bun, the day after that it could be Freaky JS and Soyjack code. If you decide you've learned enough and stop paying attention, you'll be stuck maintaining code bases nobody else wants to touch. It doesn't mean you need to jump on every shiny new framework like it's a TikTok trend, but you need to understand the shifts that actually stick. Think about all the devs who ignored mobile until the iPhone took over. Entire careers became obsolete almost overnight. Staying relevant means updating your toolkit just enough to not fall behind. Then there's communication. You could be the smartest coder in the room, but if you can't explain what you're building, you're a liability. Skipping stand-ups, refusing to document, or hoarding knowledge like it's your secret weapon doesn't make you indispensable. It makes you the weakest link. And we all know that the only thing CEOs fear more than Mario is weak links. Every project is a web of dependencies, and when you fail to communicate, those dependencies snap. Imagine a back-end engineer who changes an API contract without telling the front-end team. Suddenly, half the product breaks, deadlines slip, and the team is stuck in a custody battle to figure out who gets to keep the blame. Another express lane to failure is building in a vacuum. Engineers love elegant code, but elegant code that solves the wrong problem is worthless. You can spend weeks optimizing an algorithm to shave off milliseconds, but if the user still can't find the checkout button, your work doesn't matter. The real skill isn't writing perfect code, it's writing code that solves real problems. That means thinking about users, scalability, and performance, not just impressing other developers on GitHub. And let's talk about burnout, because it's one of the fastest and most common failure modes. Tech loves to glorify hustle culture, 16-hour days, side projects on weekends, and bragging about how little you sleep. But the truth is, nobody wins that game. You might look productive for a few months, but eventually you'll hit a wall. Burnout doesn't just kill your energy. Think of it as your toxic AI girlfriend. It kills your patience, your motivation, and your will to live. By the time you realize it, you've gone from passionate engineer with a bright future to burned out ex-developer who never wants to touch code again. The ones who last are the ones who pace themselves, who take breaks, and who know when to log off. And here's the kicker. Technical skills alone won't save you. Neglecting soft skills is another guaranteed way to stall your career. Being the so-called rock star engineer sounds cool until you realize you can't negotiate a deadline, can't explain technical debt to management, and can't work with people who don't think like you. Projects fail just as often because of poor collaboration as they do because of bad architecture. The engineers who move up, who get trusted with big responsibilities, are the ones who can bridge the gap between code and people. But to do all that, you can't just grind away at code like a monkey all day long. Luckily, today's sponsor, Impromptu AI, makes sure you don't have to. If you're a developer who's tired of spending weeks building AI features from scratch, Impromptu gives you the complete AI application stack. RAG, LLM Ops, Automatic Optimization, and real backends without writing a single line of code. For example, I wanted to create an invoice processing app, but I didn't want to go through the hassle of designing and coding the backend, frontend, and database myself. Instead, I just typed what I wanted in Impromptu's build section and answered a few questions to lock in the scope of my app. After some quick processing, the handy project summary section gave me a complete spec sheet of my application up front. Once I confirmed it matched what I wanted, all I had to do was click the build button, and within a few minutes, I had an entire app ready for deployment. One feature I really like about Impromptu is that you can further optimize your app to guarantee that, unlike other AI-built apps, it won't break in production, since Impromptu.ai can deliver 98% accuracy. For developers, this is honestly AI app development that's 100 times easier. You get the complete stack, production-ready features, and reliability without the complexity of managing LLM operations yourself. So what are you waiting for? Build production-ready, robust AI apps with 20% off by using the code CODEHEAD in the link below. Thank you for sitting through yet another tech rant, and if you enjoyed it, leave a like and subscribe to become a fellow CODEHEAD.